Hello everyone, I'm Jenna Nelson. I'm an application specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics. And today I'll be answering your question, how do I crop data in Global Mapper? I'll be talking about how to crop vector and raster data. All right, so the first thing we need to do is define the bounds of our crop area. So we could do this with an existing uh, layer in the workspace. We could do it with an existing polygon. We can select any of these polygons or we can create a new area feature. So I'll do that really quickly in case you need a refresher on creating area features. So we start with enabling the digitizer and then we can use any of these drawing methods here. So I'll select this one to create a polygon to outline my area that I'm going to be cropping to. So again, I click along feature. This is just one way we can crop. Now I will right click to close the feature and I'm gonna put it in its own feature layer just to make it really clear. So this is my cropping polygon. All right. So once I've saved this feature, I can select it again with the digitizer. And I will click this to turn on my vector features that I'm going to be cropping. All right, so I select the polygon and then I look for um, the cropping button on the digitizer toolbar. So up here, there is a little icon that represents cropping, and the button is called Crop to Selected Areas. We've already selected the area, so now we can click the button. This will bring up some options. We see that we can choose whether or not we want to crop just areas, lines, or points. I'm going to leave them all on because I have all of those types of features, and I'm going to crop all of them. Now we have another couple options here. One of them is to mark cropped features deleted. So when I do this, it's gonna delete from the layer all of the features that are outside of the bounds of my cropping polygon. So I click okay, and all those features have been deleted. Another option um, is that I could actually, instead of deleting the features, create a new layer with just uh, the points that I want to retain. So let's do another option with this point cloud. Again, I select the polygon with the digitizer and then click the crop to selected areas button. And this time, instead of deleting these features, I'm gonna click on the feature layer drop down, And this is where the features are going to be placed. So I'll make a new layer called cropped point cloud for this example. I click OK, and you can see a new layer has been created. If I turn off the original layer, we see that the cropped point cloud um, has just the points that were within the uh, cropping polygon. All right, so that's all good for cropping vector data. What about raster data, like imagery or elevation grids? Well, it's, it's very similar. Um, in this example, I will select my cropping polygon again, but this time I'm going to actually double click the imagery layer in the control center. This brings up the raster options dialog. Um, and within that dialog, you'll see there's a cropping tab. When you click the cropping tab, you'll see there's a number of options for cropping. So we could actually crop to an existing layer's bounds. Um, but in my case, I have this polygon that I wanna crop to and, I, and the layer bounds would be a rectangular feature. So I'm gonna decide to crop to the currently selected polygon. Um, when I click apply to that, that will crop just to that polygon. Again, there are these other options here, including manually specifying the bounds, um, either with the coordinates um, or pixel points. So when I click apply, you'll see that we crop to the polygon. 
We can actually easily undo this if we need to by selecting no cropping and then clicking apply. Uh, and we can redo it by cropping to the previously specified polygon. All right, one more example. I'll turn on the elevation grid layer that I have here. And if I double click the elevation grid, you'll see the options here also include a cropping tab. So if I click that cropping tab, I can find uh, most of those same options that I had with the imagery. Again, I could crop to the currently selected polygon. Another option though, if you have many layers that you wish to crop and you're going to be exporting the data anyway, maybe you want to crop them all in one go while you're exporting a global mapper package file. So you'll see when I click file, export, global mapper package file, there's an export bounds tab in those options. And we have all those same options we looked at before. So we could crop to the polygon or to a certain layer's bounds. Uh, those cropping options exist in other export formats. Mm -hmm. So if I just am exporting one layer, I can find again in the export options for that format, I click through the export bounds tab with all those same options. So I could choose to crop there as well. So as you can see, cropping in Global Mapper is pretty straightforward. But if you have any questions, you can always write to us at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. And as always, thanks for watching.